Yeah, absolutely. I think we've done really well to win the pen. I think Casey drove inside and, and, and they committed the foul in the box. And... <laughs> Yes, yes, people. Welcome back to the Mac by Channel TV. It's a glorious sunny day here. Bit cold, as you'd expect in October, but the sun's shining and it is match day. It is Newcastle United women taking on Burnley. Big game this. Burnley top of the league. Newcastle, if they win, can close that gap with games in hand. So it's a huge one for us at home in front of what will hopefully be a good attendance at Kingston Park. I'm just around the corner from the stadium now. Like I say, it's there's no obviously. Uh, men's football this weekend because of the international break so no excuses to not go out and support the lasses this weekend it's a big one i'm looking forward to it i'm excited i've missed the football now i'm looking forward to next weekend but for now we can enjoy our football fix and head to kingston park cheer on the lasses and what i've said is is a big game even though it's early on in the season it is a big clash yeah so it's a chance for newcastle to continue to rise up this division and aim for that promotion push that is the goal of this club and it is history in the making today as well if you can't make today's game at Kingston Park Newcastle United are streaming it for the first time ever on their YouTube channel the first time in history are we streaming a women's game live on our YouTube channel Newcastle United's YouTube channel so that's a big move I'm really pleased with that the lasses deserve it you know the effort and uh, work that they put in on a daily basis and what the club are putting in behind the scenes to grow women's football so that's fantastic to see and hopefully they get some good figures online as well but more importantly some good bums on seats at the stadium today to cheer them on so that's that's a big that is a big big move by the way you know it's a it's a game changing one where we're starting to show the women's games live and that's great you know they deserve that attention they deserve that recognition and hopefully there'll be many more games to come uh, where people from around the world listen to I see you'll use a lot from all over the globe watching my videos, so it'd be great if you use a lot in America and Asia and all over the place. I can't make the game in person to be able to watch it live online and even go back and watch it later. Listen, you might have busy Sundays and I mean family days out and all that, you might be at work, whatever. And now at least you can uh, head along and watch it on the YouTube channel and support the lasses from there. So we're going to get the Kingston Park Stadium and across this road, try not get run over in the process and then. Uh, We'll meet Keg at the stadium. We'll show you some bits and pieces from the game from inside the ground. And then we'll hopefully grab a couple of interviews at full time as well. So make sure you drop a like on this one. Subscribe if you haven't already. And let us know what you think of the video as it goes on. Who's that? Big <laughs> 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 Keg, is it? Oh, sure. chance for Newcastle City women to take the lead. Great on stroke of half time being gifted a penalty. As you've seen we've spurned it wide. Stays now now. Ooh, the half time snacks is it? Get the old chicken dish. It's been a fortune, yeah? Just, just mind that queue though. Nah, I'm in the queue because you miss a uh, good few minutes in the second half. So half time recap, even though it's not half time anymore. Oh, Newcastle on early take the lead again. They started strong. We started the game very strong to be fair. We've had um, a few chances. Their keeper has done well, they've defended well. 
And we've puffed and huffed keg, Mr. Penn. Should have been dominated. Really. Yeah, Mr. Penn, quite a penalty to be honest, like. Was. Another great connection. Right, I dominated the game. We're just, uh, we're getting there, ticking on by, ticking on by. I'm confident we're going to get three points. Hopefully, big, big game this one. Joined by head coach Becky Langley. Becky, nil nil in the end, but will we look back on that as a good result, maybe? Yeah, I think so. I think initially you've got that disappointment that you want to win games and, you know, we, we were disappointed to drop two points, but it's a clean sheet. It's a good performance. I thought we controlled the game. I thought we dominated possession. Um, I thought we were particularly good in wide areas. You know, Alicia Body with some fantastic mm -hmm. passes into wide areas for Tyler and Casey and some great deliveries in the box, but we just haven't made the most of them. Um, I thought Kirsty Lavelle in goal for... And goal for Burnley today made some excellent saves, there's four or five saves in the game that has, you know, ensured that they kept a clean sheet. But I think, you know, both keepers played so well today. I think, you know, Grace has had a couple where she's had to pull off some fantastic reaction saves to ensure that we don't concede. So it's one of them, it could have fell either way the game, but um, on the whole, I thought we were the better team, we'll come away disappointed. You mentioned both keepers playing well there because, you know, people might look at the scoring if they didn't see the game at the end of the nil-nil. But it was a, it was a very, really good nil-nil. To be fair, there was lots of good moments in the games, there was lots of threats from the corners, from set pieces and stuff where the keepers have parried them away and there was even a, a missed penalty as well. Yeah, absolutely. I think we've done really well to win the pen. I think Casey drove inside and, and, and they committed the foul in the box. And, you know, Bridget, there won't be anyone more disappointed than Bridget if not finished that chance. She loves scoring. She's a great player and she's she started the season brilliantly. So um, we'll reflect on that one. But I think... Um, yeah, on the whole, it's a good point in the right direction. Um, I think it was Nottingham Forest last year, you know, they drew 1-1 with Burnley and ended up winning the league. So I think we've just got a bit of context on, on where we're at and what we're doing. But yeah, on the whole, we're happy with the performance, just disappointed not to come away with three points. Because the league table is looking good. You have got those games in hand. Every time I talk to you, there seems to be games in hand with this <laughs> league. You've always got this to chase or to defend. So it's how, how, do you, how do you balance that really with all the all the games? Yeah, I think um, obviously we haven't had any midweek games, so we're, we've fallen a little bit behind. And we had the game at the start of the season that that was cancelled, and then the game um, due to the passing of um, Maddie Cusack, the game was off. So we're a couple of games behind, but I think we've just got to take it each game as it comes and, and stay switched on and focused to what our job is. Um, and when the games come, we'll be ready for them. So ultimately, I think um, yeah, we're just staying focused to, to what we're doing and yeah, each each game we will we will push and we'll push and we try and win. Um, you know, I want to win every single game we play, so therefore we'll come away disappointed, but I've got my head screwed on and I know it's a good point in the right direction. How hard has it been for you balancing the, the input of this squad this summer? Because you've had a lot of signings, a lot of new players to work with. How have you managed that? I mean, clearly very well since the league table doesn't lie, but in terms of yourself on the training ground and stuff? Yeah, I think the, the new players, you know, they're brilliant and they've helped really upskill everybody in the group. And we've got some excellent players from last season who've, you know, have help those players settle in really well um, obviously you've got 24 players in a full time environment so there's different challenges obviously mm. with 24 different women um, but I think on the whole we've done really well um, they're committed they come in every day and work hard um, it's just fantastic to be full time and, and not to be balancing you know the girls last season were balancing a full time job alongside football so this is this is um, their sole focus and yeah we're, we're here to compete we're here to win every game and finally, history was made today. The game was streamed on Newcastle United's YouTube channel. What does that say for the progression of women's football and in this club in general? 
Yeah, I mean, that's brilliant, isn't it? And I hope the viewers who watch the game on YouTube, you know, saw some good football and it might, you know, entice them to come and watch a game live as well. Um, but I think it's fantastic because it's broadcasted to, you know, all around the world. So pit fans who are who are not living in Newcastle and not living in the area or are living abroad, they can watch the game and it just gives more eyes on, on our women's football team. So I think we've given a really good account of ourselves today. I think people who've watched it would have thought some really good football on show. Um, but yeah, ultimately, we're here to win and we're disappointed we didn't. All right, well, well done, anyways, Becky. Thank, Thank you very much. You. Thank Cheers. you. Right, anyone joining the Avenue Castle tonight is number one, Grace Donnelly. Grace, uh, good clean sheet in the end. How would you how would you rate that against a, a good side in Burnley? Yeah, absolutely. That's a clean sheet, a clean sheet at the end of the day, and, and we're always happy with that. That's the that's the mentality of the of the team. Not necessarily not necessarily just me to have a clean sheet, but it's on everyone to defend from the front. So happy with the clean sheet. When you when you set up for the plan today, obviously the, the the fans are here. You know, you're aiming for the win. But will you look back at this? Hopefully, in a few weeks, few months, towards the end of the season, think that that's a solid point against who are top of the table at the moment. Yeah, absolutely. We'll be frustrated not to get the win, but we've took points. We took points away from them. We've got a point at the end of the day, and that's and that's what we can do to keep striving forward. And I think, right, we'll we'll use it for motivation next week. Solid attendance today again here at Kingston Park. Good turnout on that stand. Oh, absolutely. Um, we we'll, we'll love the fans. It doesn't matter whether we're home or away. We always seem to have the majority of the fans there. So to walk out and see see black and white is it's fantastic. We home. And there was a big uh, big moment today on, online from Newcastle United Football Club. You know they streamed this match on on the YouTube channel. How much does that show the, the emphasis on, on women's football and, and how much it's grown in the region? Oh, absolutely. It's, it's a fantastic opportunity for everyone to watch. Obviously, a lot of our players now are from um, all over the country, to be honest, so to get the chance for their family and friends to watch and everyone who wants to, who, who couldn't necessarily travel here, is, is a fantastic opportunity. I know a couple of my family who couldn't make it a day will be watching, so it's great. I know people who are on my stream the night, you know, in America and everything, saying they wanted to watch it and the please it's now finally available, so it's good from the club, isn't it? It'll be pushing it. Oh, absolutely, yeah. Like, like you know, Jordy's a fo footy mad, so they'll watch it either here in the freezing cold or they'll watch it on YouTube, so it's fantastic. So there we have it then, people. Sun setting just about behind us, still a bit to go, but the game is finished as you would have seen, nil nil. We've chatted to Coach Becky and we've chatted to keep our Grace. Uh, good to hear from them too. And I think it is a positive result in the end. It's a solid draw, really. Obviously, you want to win at home, you want to get those three points, but we are playing top of the table. Close the gap a little bit and still have those games in hand. So a decent enough result. Plenty of time left in this league to get the job done and get promoted again. Keep moving up the, the table, so decent day out that. Shame we didn't get all three points. Could have been a win, probably should have been, especially missing a penalty. But we'll move on to the next game. I hope you've enjoyed the video. Let us know what you think in the comments below. I'll duck this branch. Subscribe to the channel. I'll see you on the next one.